Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Eye of the Temple Overview. This seems pretty innovative to me. I've heard about it on the PC VR side, but never actually had an opportunity to play it myself. I suppose purely because it's a room scale experience, which in this studio, nothing works like that here. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure to have a proper experience of this overview, I have to switch my whole setup to my home. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass because even the pro I have to get to do the video. So I assume this carry case will actually have a usage. <laughs> so Eye of the Temple is a non-locomotion adventure game where you're embarking on an adventure to explore a vast and treacherous temple as you keep your balance between moving blocks, traps and various enemies that want to keep you from uncovering the ancient legend of the eye. The main premise is that you have to have some kind of small play area around you and that's how you progress throughout the game. By taking small steps instead of moving with a button or any other form of locomotion motion like it's a true to life VR experience that forces you to do the actual VR stuff. If my life situation would be different I would not be able to do this overview. So I'm lucky to have some other play space to do it but not everyone has the same opportunity and that's what I don't like about it. That is not including all players across the spectrum of gaming. It's nice to realize your vision but you can only do so for sure most populated part of the audience but it's not very nice in my eyes. Besides betting on this one gimmick, we have some puzzle solving mechanics, some combat with bats. I guess this is the closest to Indiana Jones that we'll ever get for the platform. It's pretty inventive, like it's the first thing I see that fully utilizes your play space to actually travel through the world. I think T for God was the first one to actually do it, but I never played it, so. It's a first for the official store and that's how we treat it. Let's see how the logistics will let me to do it at my home. <laughs> oh, I have a hat on my head. What the? <laughs> it's like blocking my view a little bit. Before we start, please pay attention to the following safety instructions. <laughs> Step when blocks are lining up. Okay. I don't have a hand, what the? <laughs> Stand firmly on your feet, do not lean. <laughs> it's like a little bit different from all the other games. Okay, Jesus. Your whip will automatically anchor at places where you may need it. That's a tip, I guess. And those places you will be near the center of your play area, so you have to prepare a room. Can we stop with the instructions? <laughs> Wait, why did it, like, turn me? Okay, whatever. Um, I mean, the graphics aren't crazy. Also, there is, like, no intro. You just literally <laughs> step into the game, and that's pretty much it. I hope I'm not gonna hit anything. Okay, so it's gonna use like some sort of a square around you. I have no idea wh what I'm walking in. Like, this actually one of the first times <laughs> walk IRL. <laughs> I'm so used to just locomotion by joystick. Do we have like options and stuff? I want to disable this hat, if it's possible. There we go. I trust that I set up the place correctly. <laughs> Where am I? 
I don't know, somewhere. Oh, I can step into the water and nothing happens. I should die. <laughs> I mean, it feels like a mini game, I suppose. Oh, wow. <laughs> I place a really big trust in my space. It's scary, like, I'm not used to do that. Okay. That's decent physics. Sh shit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Aha, so I collect to unlock stuff? Oh shit! Wait, so do I need to like keep moving or something? Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I had to actually go back. What? That's trippy. This is kind of a horror game then. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is like an immense trust. On the guardian here. <laughs> I don't have a fire. Do I go there? Oh my god. It's so weird. <laughs> Tie that. There's no way in hell I would be able to play it in the studio. What are you looking at? <laughs> okay. I guess I can move kind of faster now, knowing that I won't kill myself. <laughs> but it still feels weird. <laughs> no, not here. <laughs> and then forward? Oh my god! It's kind of fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's something different, that's for sure. Oof. <laughs> this is true VR. That's how it's meant to be, but I guess we were being lazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. Huh. 
how I did not leave my guardian, that's crazy. I don't have a lever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about the rendering and stuff, but the graphics don't. impress me in any way <laughs> I'm sure it looks amazing in camera <laughs> Oh wow. All dimensions, huh? Gateway trials. So it's an open world then? We just... Discover on the go. I mean, the whip mechanics you would need to definitely get used to it, like, it's also something new. Today is about innovation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh shit. Ew. <laughs> it's like. I expect you to die, <laughs> but in the mixed reality. <laughs> oh, oof, I got the chills. Oof. What the? <laughs> and roll on. I guess this is like a starting area for now. And there's gonna be more like mechanics. Like this. What's going on here? I can't screw flying. <laughs> That's cool. Um, how do I get off this? And off we go. Uh, oh, I forgot to move. <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be something more to this overview, like I just see myself unlocking this, but that's it. I'll try to speedrun maybe.
But this is fascinating, like... Absolutely nothing that I've tried before. And something that I won't be playing <laughs> just due to my conditions, like it's just how it is. There's like a discrepancy between the 360 here of the environment and the actual place we walk on. So this was like a bonus or something? Or maybe it activates the card. Okay. <laughs> Now I fully trust my guardian, like, I'm not scared. Except for this music. What the? <laughs> this is full on adventure. <laughs> It's also like those blocks have a certain distance they can travel just because of your play space. Okay, I think we can end here. Like, I know the premise, how it works, like, <laughs> it's all very clear. <laughs> As a concept with the mechanics and stuff like that, like, it's so impressive how the devs managed to solve just basic locomotion by having this square thing that you step on. <laughs> it's also something that some people just can't play with. Like, if someone would ask me if we're gonna continue this, no, because I can't. <laughs> Simple as that. And while it sucks, it's just the way it is. I don't love the graphics overall, because normally puzzle games can just go bigger. So I'm not sure if this whole walking takes every bit of performance. This headset is capable of much more and I expect some level of it. <laughs> Besides that, the whip seems fine. I didn't use the torch. You have a full-on range of movement here, just walking, ducking, like... Try to set up the guardian well and trust this, like... You won't kill yourself, though you need to also make sure nothing in your space will <laughs> distract you. Overall, pretty cool. Though we won't continue with this, so good luck with your own gameplays. <laughs>